At this point, you probably have many questions, such as these questions here. This video is all about answering those questions. So if you are not sure how it could be possible to learn Chinese in Chinese without any English, or maybe that just sounds totally insane to you, then this video is for you. Sit back and find out how you can acquire Chinese naturally. You Can Chinese is an assisted immersion course, which means you learn the target language in the target language from a native speaker speaking the target language, just like immersion in general. But unlike mass immersion, where you spend a lot of time in the beginning finding content, looking up things in a dictionary and repping flashcards, assisted immersion uses the theories of automatic language growth and comprehensible input to guide you through the first step of immersion, which is by far the most difficult part of the process. Now that you have You Can Chinese, the first step of your immersion journey will be effortless. You Can Chinese is all about making the beginning part of learning Chinese via immersion as easy and fast as possible. All you have to do is sit back and watch the videos one by one in the order of the absolute beginner playlist. Your brain will naturally begin to sort things out. And the program has been organized in such a way to make that happen as quickly as possible. A key element of automatic language growth is the snowball effect. So what is the snowball effect anyway? Like a snowball's ability to absorb new layers of snow, your ability to absorb new grammar and vocabulary in the target language depends largely on how much you already know. The more you know, the larger the surface area of your language snowball, which means more ways and opportunities to latch onto and assimilate new aspects of the language. This explains why it is so difficult in the beginning. You might also think of it as a bloody battle to establish a beachhead. It takes a lot of effort to fight your way onto dry land, i.e. to establish a foothold in the language. But once you start that beachhead, it takes less effort to expand into the mainland, i.e. deepen your understanding of the language. As you push further and further into hostile territory, the enemy starts to fall back and thin out, i.e. there are fewer and fewer obstacles to absorbing the language. Eventually, you've liberated France, i.e. learn French, or, in this case, Chinese. Though we don't think you would be successful invading China, you can definitely succeed in conquering the Chinese language, especially given the head start you will have with You Can Chinese. This assisted immersion program is like us having cleared out all the Nazis off of Omaha Beach and rolled out a red carpet all the way to where the water starts, the water's edge, to the nearest major road leading straight to Paris. All you have to do is follow the red carpet to victory. Okay, so you want to start acquiring Chinese naturally and easily with assisted immersion. How does it work? There are two parts to this free and effective program. One, active listening and watching assisted immersion lessons on the YouTube channel, You Can Chinese. And two, passive listening to native content. Let's talk about part one first. What is active listening? Look at the people in these pictures. They are all giving their full attention to the video, both listening and watching without doing anything else. So active listening means watching the videos with your full attention and just letting it soak in to whatever extent it will in that moment. What does it not mean? It does not mean to repeat after the teacher. Do not try to speak Chinese at all in the beginning. What? Say what? Don't repeat after the teacher? Don't try to speak? What kind of language course is that? Well, there are more theory videos in the theory playlist that talk about the silent period. But here we just want to mention that in natural language acquisition, it is best to give your brain lots of time to soak in input in the language before trying to output in the language. What does that mean? It means listening a lot for many hours before speaking. That way, when you do start speaking, 
you will speak naturally, you will speak spontaneously, you will speak much better, more easily, and you will not develop many bad habits. If you stick to the program and follow the silent period, you are very likely to develop in the language just like a native speaker and avoid speaking in broken Chinese with a Lao Wai accent. Lao Wai means foreigner, uh, particularly European and North American foreigners. So this is a listening course at first. Speaking will come later. Let me repeat that. This is a listening course first. Speaking will come later. Now for part two. What is native content? What is passive listening? This second part is actual mass immersion, meaning real native content. Uh, what is that? What is native content? Native content is content made by natives for natives. It's like real Chinese TV shows, real Chinese movies, real Chinese cartoons, vlogs, and any kind of audio content, preferably also with visuals, any kind of audio content with visuals made by native Chinese people for native Chinese people. What is passive listening? Okay, passive listening means you are doing other things while listening, such as this woman right here exercising, this man riding in or driving a car, and this woman doing the dishes or other chores. If your job allows, doing passive listening while working gives you an opportunity to do many, many hours of passive listening every day, which is great. Okay, the more passive listening, the better. There are many reasons to start engaging with native content from day one. At first, you will not understand much. And that's fine. That's normal. Everybody is like that. Don't worry. Just understand what you can, which on day one may be as little as 1%. As time goes on, you will understand more and more. Just let the snowball grow naturally. But you have to start. If you don't start, it won't grow. The native content will reinforce and expand on what you learn in the assisted immersion videos. It will. It will. It will. You will hear the words in the native content and notice the sentence structures and so on that you have learned in these assisted immersion videos. And that will be a great feeling. And as time goes on, you will understand more and more and more. Okay, so don't pee your panties. Be brave. Just do it you will thank yourself later. Where can you find native content in Mandarin Chinese? Some sources are YouTube, Netflix, and IQ.com, known as iQiyi in Chinese. It is basically China's Netflix. At the bottom of the You Can Chinese YouTube page, there's a featured channels list for suggested native content. Definitely check that out. All right. There is also a featured channels list for language learning theory. The featured channels lists are a wealth of resources for your Chinese language acquisition journey. Be sure to make full use of them. Okay, so back to the You Can Chinese videos, the assisted immersion part of this course. At this point, we need to talk about the various types of videos in the course. The absolute beginner course will consist of around 27 lessons, however, each lesson will consist of four or five videos. The first part of a lesson is a video type called Baby Steps. And the last part of a lesson is a video type called Baby Immersion. Each lesson has two or three baby steps and two baby immersions for a total of four or five videos for each lesson. The Baby Steps lessons consist of one question and one answer regarding a picture or a series of pictures. Uh, and that question, that structure of the question uh, is repeated over and over. And there is a limited set of answers that are possible. And those answers will change with the picture. So I'm gonna give you an example. Each one of these is, uh, will be an example of content you would see from three different baby steps videos, not the same baby step video. So for this one, the question would be, is this a man or a woman? So we, it would be, there would, there would be a mouse pointer here and uh, the teacher will say, is this a man or a woman? And the answer would be, this is a woman. 
And then you would move on to the next slide, which would maybe be a man. And the question would be, is this a man or a woman? And then the answer would be, this is a man. It's very simple like that. Okay, the, the sentence structures are simple and the vocabulary is simple to make it as comprehensible as possible, to make it easily understandable, and uh, you will absorb a lot from these very quickly. Uh, this one. So for here, you would say, what is this woman doing? And the, the, an the answer would be, this woman is running. And then the next picture might be a man walking. And then the question would be, what is the man doing? And the answer would be, the man is walking, and so on. So with this one, the question might be, what color is this? And the answer would be, this is pink. And then you might have uh, the next slide be a picture of something that's blue. And the same question, what color is this? And the answer would be, this is blue. Okay? So, each Baby Step video only has one question structure and a limited set of potential responses. Usually less than five potential responses. Uh, but it varies. The purpose of this type of video, this Baby Step video, is to help you rapidly assimilate sentence structures and key vocab. Uh, and it will do that. It, it will do that. These videos tend to be five to ten minutes long because of the simplicity of the content um, it's not too long just enough time for you to kind of get the main idea and for it to really stick the next part is the baby immersions videos they are the long PowerPoint videos um, by long I mean 25 to 40 minutes and they are more complex in terms of the pictures and there may be more complex pictures more things in them and there may be multiple pictures uh, and there's more also more complex sentence structures and vocabulary uh, in the baby immersions now while the content in the baby immersions is more limited much more limited than real life it's not as limited as the baby steps so uh, you might see more structures, more structures mixed together. You're not sure what structure is going to come next, but you should recognize most of it uh, if you have done the baby steps. And it, the whole lesson structure, the whole course is cumulative. Okay, these lessons we interweave and they they're threaded like beads. So the first immersions might be tough for you at first. Maybe you'll only understand 80%. Maybe not even that much. But as you get to the second lessons immersions, it'll you'll be much easier. And then the third lessons, and by the time you get to lesson 27, uh, you know, and then you go back to the first immersions from lesson one, you'll be like, oh wow, this is so easy, this is so baby, I, you, you'll understand like all of it. So don't worry, stick with the system. Now I'm just going to give you a quick example of what you might see. Uh, in English uh, with something like this here, if it was a baby immersion. So you might have questions like, how many people are here? Uh, there are four people. How many people are here? There are also four people. Which one is a family? This is a family. These are friends. What is this person wearing? This person is wearing brown pants. Is this person wearing brown pants? No, he is not wearing brown pants, and so on. Okay, are these people running? No, they're sitting. Are these people running? Yes, they're running. These four people are running. These four people are sitting. She's sitting, he's sitting, she's sitting, she's sitting. What about him? No, he's running, and so on. So in the baby immersions, you get more complex input than the baby steps. The baby immersions tend to last longer as well, usually 25 and 40 minutes. Don't worry, there's plenty of spaced repetition and reinforcement of the structures and the vocab. You will quickly and naturally begin to understand the meaning of what is said. In fact, you may be surprised by how rapidly you begin to understand Chinese. One last thing. I really want to emphasize the importance of passive listening to native content. Start doing this on day one. Do it every day, okay? I know many people will want to skip this part. Don't, just do it. 
As you progress, it will be more and more enjoyable as you start to discover your brain naturally figuring things out. At first, you will mainly just be picking out the limited structures and vocab from the lessons, as well as getting an intuitive sense of the tones and the language in general. That may not seem like much, but it is critical to starting your snowball or your beachhead, uh, depending on which metaphor you prefer. So remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. This is a journey of thousands of hours of listening, and passive listening to native content will turbocharge that journey tremendously. So again, passive listening is a key part of the program and should not be overlooked. Please, please, please start today with passive listening to native content. This video will not and cannot answer every question that everyone will ever have about the amazing and effective free assisted immersion course known as You Can Chinese. So, if you still would like to know something else before starting your Chinese language acquisition journey, please comment below and we will get back to you with a detailed response. Please feel free to ask any question you have as there probably are other people with the same question. Also, when we first start uploading the course, we will have a live stream each week called Office Hours with Teacher Meng. You can also ask any questions you have during the office hours. You are very much encouraged to participate in that live stream or at least watch it afterwards. And if you comment on the live stream after it is uh, just a normal video on the channel, after the live stream is finished, uh, we will also answer your questions there. I prefer that you ask questions below this video. You comment on this video with your questions so that we can answer them here. That way they're all collected in one place and it will be uh, easy for people to find them. So now you know more about the program and should be able to dive right in. Again, if you have any other questions, please comment below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Or show up to office hours and ask there. You are very much encouraged to participate in those office hours. We're gonna share a lot of uh, nuggets of wisdom about uh, immersion and about how to use this course and Chinese in general. And we may even do some uh, live teaching at that time as well, besides simply uh, answering questions and talking about theory. So thank you for your interest in acquiring Chinese with You Can Chinese. We look forward to hearing about your progress and how the course is helping you make immersion easy and more accessible.